Man tells his girlfriend to sign a prenup, and she melts down. Like the video, subscribe, stay on the path of progress. Let's get into it. Do you think you're catfish or not? I'm told I am, but I don't think I am. Damn. <laughs> Do you think she's a catfish or not? 100%, dude. Oh. Who's that? Mm -hmm. ah! <laughs> what are you ass? In a bum book like this? Oh, is that you? Do you think like me? That ain't you. That's, that's your sister, is that? <laughs> that, that you. Your name? Myowa. Myowa, how old yes. are you? I am 32. 32? Okay. <laughs> and what do you do? I am a business my owner bad. of seven my years. Bad. I'm a lash instructor. Um, oh my god. Okay. Now, what are some of your deal breakers? The only thing would be like a pessimist and cat owners. Mm, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we did get a few hot balloons. If it's an insecurity because I'm going to get male attention and you don't like that, then that's an insecurity because I'm like, like, my man, trust me. Like, I'm all about you. Like, I'm not doing this for you at all. Like, I want you to have trust for me. And if he's like, oh, yeah, like, let me reflect on that. That is because of my insecurity. Then we could have that discussion. What you call insecurity, I call having a standard. I call having a boundary. Yeah, it's easy. Like, seriously, let's say it was an insecurity. Shouldn't she care about her boyfriend and what he wants? Shouldn't she care about his emotions? The fact that he's feeling insecure? Don't you think a good woman would want to appease her partner? But no, but no, he's just, he's just toxic. Oh my God, he finally showed emotions and they were so toxic. <laughs> let's say I wanna take you out on a date here in Dubai. Let's imagine that, yeah. Okay, let's imagine. <laughs> How much are you expecting me to spend on you? Um, I would say in Dubai, it's gonna be approximately six, seven hundred dollars, maybe two to three thousand dirhams all right and would it be weird if i expected you to pay the bill she's a dubai girl. absolutely and why Yikes. why the sky is blue why the fishes started swimming in the sea why dubai is the most gorgeous city in the world i mean there are so many questions just the fact that she's in dubai huge red flag massive red flag excuse me is this your daughter <laughs> My daughter, no. Wait, are you guys friends? Yeah, but we battled. <laughs> oh, she's my bad. Because I, oh, I thought you were dating. Is there any way I could, like, get your Instagram or something? Uh, I have a boyfriend. You do? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Wait, are you guys, like, related? No, she's just a friend. Oh, oh you guys look okay. similar. Oh. Oh. Low-key, my man was correct, though. She got that, like, mom vibe going. If you can't be corrected, then you cannot be directed. And if you cannot be directed, then you can't be protected. Mm. She said it, I did. These are all green flags, but why is she posting it on social media, bro? Why is she not telling you this to your face? Why is she not just doing this by her actions? Why does she need to post it on social media for the validation? Hmm, fishy to me. Seems fishy to me, bro. So honey, what did it take to land the perfect wife? Lower my standards. Andrew! When you're listening to a man and he pauses, count to 30 and he'll likely keep going. If you interrupt him, you'll never hear what he truly has to say. I started practicing it and I would just shut the f up sometimes. And I was like, have I been missing out on listening? That is excellent advice. Not only for women that are in a relationship, but for the men as well. Just ask someone a question and stop talking. Just stop talking and be like, mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Interesting. Mm. And just listen, absorb their thoughts, see what they're actually thinking. You'll be shocked at the information that you could obtain just by chilling. A lot of people will tell you their entire life story if you just sit there and chill. Hmm, that's interesting. Wow. Hmm. Never thought about it that way. Just super, super simple things like that. I want my freaking husband back. I've been married for seven years and for six out of those seven years, my husband has always worked either two to three jobs. This last year, he quit one of his jobs, so he was only working his one main job, and it was so great. We spent so much time together. We got to do stuff with the kids. Then inflation wrecked us. That year is over. He's looking for another job because we need to be able to afford simple, basic living things to live. Food, housing, diapers. It's freaking nuts. 
So if making these stupid videos is gonna help me make a little money so my husband can stay home again, I will do it. I will do it over and over and over again. That's the wifey type right there, man. But notice my man is absolutely on his purpose, in his masculine frame, providing for his family. Something toxic that you like. When they tell me to shut up, puts you in your place. It's just hot, you know? When he get real jealous, when he see me talking to another boy, he take it out on me, so. Hey, what's something toxic that you like? I like when people don't let me leave. Hey, what's something toxic that you like? <laughs> I like causing a scene in public so I can embarrass you, like. Hey, what's something toxic that you like? I like when my dude like yell at me a little bit, like. Hey, what's something toxic that you like? When they're controlling, like, tell me what I can and can't do. Mm. You guys listening? Mm. Shocker. Mm. Who would have thunk? I'm not saying to do some of this stuff, okay? They said it themselves what they're attracted to. These streets are wild. Number one, I don't attribute meaning to people I don't know that well. That nice text, that great first date, that doesn't mean that they're the one. It just means it was a nice text or a good first date. Probably most importantly, and I should have led with this, I don't get my validation or confidence from men. But whether or not someone likes me really doesn't matter all that much. And I remind myself that you're not supposed to be for everybody. Not every person you go on a date with is meant to be your person. So it's okay if it feels like you've been on a string of 10 really bad dates with guys you don't connect with. What's your name? Felicia. Felicia, what's your name? Matthew. Matthew, that's a couple, right? Yes, sir. How long have you guys been dating for? Six months. Six months, six months, right? Yep. Uh, that's a long time, right? Kind of. Have you guys been loyal, though, this whole time with the six months? I hope so. You hope so? Uh -huh. lo lo loyal or not? I have been. How are you been loyal this whole time? Loyal. Yeah, I'm a little loyal to check just to make sure. Her phone, you check his phone for 45 seconds. Is that okay? Okay. Is that okay? Is that okay? Okay. <laughs> dude i swear man the modern dating of today it truly puts ice in your veins if you are in it for too long because you know i talk about how it negatively severely affects women you know but for the men as well it's like you can only go through this type of thing a few times like seriously until even you as a man have a hard time emotionally pairing in a relationship because you've basically just gotten used to the toxic and you're expecting things to go wrong around every single corner you're expecting her to be a 304 just like all the other girls and that's honestly what i could see within myself when i was more in the dating market i'm in a relationship now but it's like time and time again you're seeing the exact same things the exact same attitudes they're doing the exact same things like the same lifestyles they're out at the clubs they have the guy friends. They're, they're posting for attention on social media. After you're in it for a while, it is truly difficult to care. And that's where the ice comes from, dude. It turns you into just this cold-hearted player. And honestly, man, I just didn't like it. Did not enjoy it. So I've been out of it for about a year. And man, I'm just so much happier. I'm not even joking. Being in the dating world is truly just toxic. And let me clarify, being in the Western dating world is toxic as hell. Because when you go abroad, when you go to the more traditional countries, you find actually good women women that date to marry they don't just date randomly they don't do these one night hookups in general of course okay it's not a fantasy land let's move on we're getting married in a week oh wow yeah. congratulations this morning i had to meet with uh, our lawyers is everything okay yeah i talked to him about a prenup a prenup a just relax it's, it is the week of our wedding, Eric. Yes, I know, but it's like... You're bringing this up now? Here? We need to go to a notary later today, so I need your signature. Why are you now. just now telling me about this? Because things have been so busy with everything, and like, we're on a time crunch. I mean, my family has so much money at stake here. I'm not a gold digger, Eric. I'm not accusing you of anything. I'm literally this, just saying this, this protection this is an accusation. for both. No, it's not. Think about this. I'm going to go to the restroom. Are you kidding me? Right there. I'll be back. Need a hug? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so this is obviously a part of a TV show or something, but it's a good conversation piece. This is quite simple, okay? If she's expecting the marriage to be forever, 
then signing a prenup should not be an issue whatsoever. The prenup is in case you get divorced, in case the relationship is over. So is she already preemptively planning to end the marriage? Doesn't she care about your safety in case there's a divorce? It's almost always just these emotional arguments. Oh, you don't trust me. Oh my God. You don't love me. Oh my God. Like the video, subscribe, stay on the path of progress. I'll see you later.